Hey Jesse, how are you doing? Hey, doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> I didn't have to swim from Alcatraz. Yes, yeah, you you missed out. It was uh, it was quite the adventure. Um, how cold were you? Uh, it was uh, it was probably the coldest I've ever been in my life. Honestly, well, actually, no. During the race, you know, when you're racing, you're racing, so. You got a, you know, you got a ton of adrenaline and stuff. But um, I swam two days before the race, and that was probably the coldest I've ever been. Um, when you jumped off the boat, is that was it more of a shock to the system versus when you went for a swim and you kind of meandered slowly in? No, I think I think getting slowly in was was worse. Like jumping off the boat, you know, when you're in when you're in race mode, you're just like. I wasn't thinking about anything but trying to get on like Matt Reed's feet, <laughs> you know, and, and the cold and everything else was just, wasn't even part of the, uh, you know, wasn't even part of the mental picture at that point. It was just, I got to swim as hard as I freaking can, regardless of how I feel, you know? Did you get the feet you wanted? Uh, I, I actually, I got, I don't know what happened. I think I got a great start. I remember swimming, uh, for the first like minute or two, uh, swimming right next to Pete Jacobs and thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm literally having the swim of my career right now. And then, uh, and then I think, uh, you know, either he figured out what he was doing or I figured it out that I was probably swimming like an all out sprint and, uh, and he was gone really fast. Um, but yeah, I hung on for, I hung on to some feet for a little while. I mean, it was really, really, really choppy and it was hard even when I did get on somebody's feet to stay there. Um, but, uh, you know, so I actually swam, uh, I would bet I swam 70, 80% of the swim alone. Um, just because, It was hard to stay with anybody, even if you were behind them. Uh, was the orientation tough, or did you find your way pretty easy? Uh, well, we had we had the big we had this. They put this big orange buoy on a on a boat in front of the lead guys. So I kept siding off of that, and then. Um, but it, it it was it was difficult. I mean, it was like I said, it was really choppy, and uh, you're it's not really clear. You know, um, a lot of the buildings kind of look similar as you're as you're getting in closer to shore so it's not totally obvious like where you're supposed to go and I and this was my fourth time doing it but eventually I kind of oriented myself I actually I remember talking to Matt uh, Lieto after the race he saw me he was just a little bit little ways behind me he saw me actually stop I stopped about um, maybe three or four hundred yards before the finish and just like paused and and honed in on exactly where the finish buoy was. And he was like, I saw your, your head pop up and look around. And I was like, that's the guy I need to follow because he actually knows where he's going now to the end of the race. So um, yeah. Bike, was it uneventful? Um, yeah. I mean, for me, I mean, there were no, certainly no, like, you know, I didn't see any accidents or anything, but, uh, for me, I just tried to punch out, um, you know, work it really working the uphills there and because you get you get a fair amount of time to recover on the downhills so it's kind of like it's more like a workout it's like eight times five minutes on one minute off or whatever right and um so that was kind of the way that I wrote it and I passed up you know I, I had I had a great ride I, I was I was fairly happy with my ride and uh it was a trip to ride by some of the guys that I was riding by and and be chasing Uh, you know, Graham and, and Javier up in front of me. So, yeah, it was fun. What position did you come out for the bike? Uh, I was fourth. I was right behind of, uh, right behind uh, uh, Godoy or yeah. Goody. Is, it, I'm not, is that what it is? Yeah. I don't But know. I'm not I was sure. right behind, I was right behind him. I was in fourth place. He was in third. And so, um, how quickly did you catch him? You know, I didn't catch him for a while. Um, he, well, we both ran really hard at the first uh, four miles, you know, or, or three and a half miles all the way out. And then um, he was basically like, I kept taking splits on him. He was 15 seconds in front of me the whole way, and I felt like I was charging. Um, and then we hit the top of the hill, like the highest point of the run course, basically, on the way out. And there's this really long downhill. 
And um, I always try to run the downhills, try to keep myself relatively mellow on the uphills so I can accelerate on the downhills and use use the foot speed kind of background that I have from from track. And uh, somebody actually sent me uh, there was a there was a Strava um, segment there, and I guess that this this one like half mile downhill section, I ran something like two twelve or something like that on that um on that one half mile. So it was just really like cranking down, uh, you know, just slapping my feet against the ground. I guess trying to get some momentum. And um, I think he must have then really drifted off because he ended up six. Yeah, that was where I passed him, and I think he he really I think he had a rough time on the way back. Yeah, for sure. I mean, dude, that's that's a long run, and the way back is no joke. That's when you hit the sand, the beach, and you're running on this soft sand for a long ways, and then of course, you know, the infamous the sand ladder and everything else. So it's a tough run, and when you I, I when you snap, you snap there for real. I'm sure. So, but you're happy with third, I would say. To oh yeah, psyched. I mean, that's a huge, that's a great, that's a great first race for me for 2013. Um, you know, to uh, to have the fastest run there versus Pete and Javier is a, is a pretty amazing thrill for me. Um, and to even just be as close as I was to uh, Javier and Graham and 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 you know, beating Pete was was cool. <laughs> Um, you know, I know it, he's in a totally different phase of his of his training and, and everything else. He's got much bigger uh, fish to fry come October, but I'll still I'll still take it as a good performance for me. What's next for you? Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna head down to Oceanside and do uh, the 70.3 down there in about four weeks. So looking forward to that. That was kind of a that was a big breakout performance for me last year. So. And then after that, anything exciting? Uh, a lot of it's going to be pretty similar to to last year, you know. Like um, I'll be doing a lot of like half Ironman stuff, seventy point three, leading to leading to eventually to Vegas, basically. And you know, I've had a really um, I've had a disappointing Vegas the last two years in a row, and um, I th I think with the right prep. And specifically, like specific prep in the weeks leading up to that race, which I don't think I've done well yet. I think I think I can have a, I think I can have a great race there and 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 be one of the top guys there. But that race has just been a mystery to me so far. So I, I really want to try to nail it this year, and that's the big goal. Um, anything else been exciting with you? Um, yeah, I mean, we're uh, my wife is pregnant, which is uh, which is pretty crazy. So we've got uh, baby Thomas uh, Lima Bean, as it's called now, uh, due in June. Um, we don't know if it's a, if it's a boy or girl. We're gonna wait and see. Uh, I guess find out when it's born. And uh, so, but that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a huge, obviously a huge change for us and for me. Uh, but I'm I'm really excited about it. And on top of that, we uh, we moved to Bend. We're moving to Bend this week. That's why you see me. Sitting, I'm sitting on a on a twin mattress in the living room right now <laughs> against the wall because we don't even have a chair <laughs> in our house. It's the grandiose lifestyle yeah, of the pros, exactly. Right? So, um, but I, uh, but yeah, between all that, we're moving uh, picky bars. You know, uh, my company. We're moving uh, the employees. Uh, well, there's like three of them, but they're all moving to Bend as well. And uh, and so we'll be setting up shop, uh, setting up our whole place here in Bend as well. So it's it's a it's going to be a fun year and lots of big changes. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So we're super happy for you and good luck in Oceanside. Yeah, thanks. And I guess we'll see you sometime soon. Yeah, thanks a bunch for having me. I really appreciate it. Hey, we'll see you. Bye bye. Bye.